Bezat Hashem, tonight we're going to try to explain a few things on why people suffer so badly from addictions. Our bodies and our spirits, they're all built from a certain materia. And like any other materia in the universe, we have that nature inside of us that we remember that our cells, they have memory. And many times in our lives, the marks of our experiences are carving and scratching and traumatizing us in ways that leaves a mark and a scar and the pa painful memory um, that keeps on coming over and over again in the future. Now, when a person is not working on himself to set himself free from those memories. So he's falling into those patterns, ways of behavior that are not set and built and based on reality, just on those old memories that waking up feelings from the past. And when a person is living his life like that, so he is suffering pain that does not serve him well at all, does not allow him to enjoy life in the way that he potentially could have. And he's falling to a horrible consisting pain that is causing him a way more severe trauma and sorrow than he was supposed to experience. Now, there's a purpose and a reason for that memory to hit us back. And it's like a sign that is warning us from us falling into the same traps that we fell into in the past. But we must control those hints and those signs with our logic, with our minds and with the rest of our senses to recognize if really that warning sign is active or old. If we should listen to that sign, to that hint and follow it, or that it's just bringing an old memory to remind us that there is something that we should still work on to heal or to accept or to thank for or to pass with gratitude for the fact that we're not longer there. But because that the cell themselves, the cells themselves does not have that wisdom to recognize if that memory is a realistic threat in the present time, or if it is an old memory that is just coming to wake us up for something means that if the person is not totally aware to himself and he's not asking himself, where am I standing? What am I going through? What's really going on in my life? So the person will fall into those patterns and will lose his true potential to set himself free from all the pain, from all the trauma of all the old and ancient experience that experiences that he was hurt by in the past. And when people are disconnected from their self-awareness in the present time, they're falling on daily basis into the same traps of the evil inclination of the Yetzirah. And then they become hard and stiff and lazy and not flexible for no changes. And those patterns becomes to be their character lines. And they find it very, very hard to set themselves free from troubles that keep on coming in waves and breaking them to pieces one after the other, when really 
like we said before, those are only memories from the past. Those are not real threats that are hitting their boats, that are hitting their bodies. Those are just reflections. Those are just flashbacks from the past. But because that they are not sensitive enough, because their self-awareness is weak and their self-esteem is weak, so therefore they feel and they live their life in, in permanent pain and fear. People that are suffering from that level of low self-esteem and low self-awareness are very easily falling to addictions because there is no person on earth that can suffer for so long from pain and from disappointments and from fears and from all those things that are happening so frequently. Therefore, people must put themselves to sleep by allowing themselves to do certain things that might hurt them, but in the same time will ease the pain. And then they fall into those bad habits. And those bad habits does not have to be hard drugs or huge amounts of alcohol consuming or porn or very bad addictions. It also can be sport. It can be watching social media, hearing music, playing your guitar. It can be many addictions. Those are way, those are ways, um, those are outlets, those are way to avoid reality. Because for those people, the reality means the way they grasp reality means their mistake of how they misinterpret reality because they believe all the signs. For an example, like a person that drives on the road and he sees a stop sign to his right, immediately he stops. He sees a red light to his left, immediately he stops. No, it's not on your lane. It's not talking to people that it's not referred to people that drives in your direction. You just can see it from the side, from the angle, but it never meant to guide you. It just came to tell you something that they should stop, that it's coming to guide other people with a certain orders, but it never meant to stop you right now. But you stopped. Why? Because you're terrified because you have been traumatized by similar um, experiences, accidents in the past, cars that came and were too close to you and made you think that you are so vulnerable, or maybe you really been hurt in a car accident in the past, and that's why now you're afraid of parking vehicles and not only ones that are driving against you. When a person is far from his self-awareness and he's disconnected from the live supervision of the Creator on our life in the present time, so he will always suffer and he will always feel the pain and he will feel that the world is closing on him and therefore he will have to find substitutes for his poverty, for his sadness, for his um, permanent pain and fear. The way to fix those things is not to drop the cigarettes or to stop drinking the alcohol or not going to the gym five times a week. The way to heal yourself is to clear 10, 20 minutes a day and in those minutes to go to a quiet place and to talk to yourself, to open an honest conversation between your level of awareness to your deeper level of your soul and to call yourself back to reality 
from the depths of the exile of your spirit to call yourself out, to set yourself free, to invite yourself to leave the cell of your prison and to become a true sparrow, to allow yourself to fly out from your fears and from your old and ancient patterns, ways of thinking that does not apply to reality anymore. If you have been taught that you're worthless, that you're hopeless, for sure you're not going to try to apply for a new job because you don't believe that you're worth it and that you can make it and that you will succeed. But in reality, you never met the new boss. You don't know if you have the right skills for that new job and you might succeed greatly, but you will be too scared to check and to give yourself the opportunity to succeed because of that low self-esteem of yours, because of that consistent fear that is paralyzing you and holding you back from revealing the true potential of your spirit and the divine and holy qualities of your soul. But if you will talk to yourself and ask yourself, why am I so afraid? Why am I so stuck? Why am I falling to that same trap every single day? You might find answers. The answers will come corresponding to your ability to deal with the answer. The Creator will not put too much on your back to deal with. He will not put too much effort and power and the test will not be too hard on you if you cannot deal with it. But if you will want from the bottom of your heart, from the core of your soul to know the right answer, it will come and it will be revealed to you because the Creator is close to everyone who calls Him with truth. So as truthful as you're going to be while calling Him and asking for the truth, that's how much the truth will reveal itself to you. People that are falling to addictions, people that are addicted to bad habits, they must understand that the way to set themselves free from those patterns, from those bad ways, is not fast, is not immediate. It's not to do it now and to cut it and to stop with it. It's a path of healing yourself in a deeper way, in a, in, to like to create a, a root canal, to go to the depths of, of the pain and to talk to yourself about it and to ask yourself where did it started and what really happened to me and what caused that severe pain and why am I failing and why am I falling and why is it happening to me over and over again and again. And if you're going to continue with that conversation on a daily basis, you're going to be healed completely and you will experience the highest and the most joyful feeling of closeness to the Creator. And He will reveal His loving kindness on you and mercy with no end will appear in your life. And you will be healed and you will become a lighthouse to your loved ones, to all your surroundings. And I bless you all to try that and to give it a chance and to give your life a chance. And I don't have the slightest doubt that your prayers that will come from an honest place like that will be accepted and answered and the goodness of the Creator will be revealed in your life and in the life of all your loved ones. Amen. The world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.